Hello, I'll be using Lovinger's theory of ego development to look at two characters from an episode of Grey's Anatomy. Lovinger focused on meaning making and the individual's interpersonal resources and perspective taking for each of her stages. This first clip will focus on Shane, the patient that's about to go into surgery. Shane is a paramedic at the hospital that has internal bleeding that will lead to death if he doesn't get surgery soon. However, Shane is re refusing to consent to this surgery unless he knows that there will be a white doctor in the OR. Right before this clip, Shane refused to let Dr. Bailey or Dr. Weber, two African-American surgeons, do his exam. So Dr. Yang, an Asian-American surgeon, comes. Shane is reluctant but lets her, which is when Dr. Yang finds his swastika tattoo. Shane explains to Dr. Yang that he thinks that she wouldn't get as offended or think it's as bad as Dr. Bailey would. But Shane is not aware that Dr. Yang is Jewish. You can see already that his assumptions and judgments are solely based off of external characteristics. Shane's reasoning and perspective taking is dominated by racial biases and a hateful ideology. Although Shane and most individuals don't complete, completely fit into one stage, he does have similarities to Lovinger's conformist stage. This stage of Lovinger's theory is characterized by having simplistic cognitive complexity, by holding strongly to stereotypes, no matter how ignorant they are, and being overly concerned with appearance and social acceptance of a group. You can't operate. I won't sign the consent for You need the surgery. You will die without the surgery. You may die with the surgery, but your chance of living is greatly increased if you let me operate. And it's just going to be you two in there. Yes? No. I need to have at least one white doctor in that operating room so you don't kill me on the table. No offense. No offense. Did he just say no offense? Shepard. Yeah. I need O'Malley. We're about to go into surgery. I need O'Malley. You okay, Dr. Bailey? Don't cross me. I wasn't crossing you. I'm rising above. I'm rising above and do not want to be crossed while I'm busy rising. I have to operate on a white supremacist, and he has requested a white doctor to watch me to make sure that I don't kill his crazy white behind. Now, I need O'Malley. Can I have him or not? Yeah, O'Malley, go and talk to Billy. Yes, sir. Get him to sign the consent, then have him anesthetized and ready. Dr. Bailey, you're well within your rights to pass this on to somebody else. Well, that would make me like him. I'm not like him. This clip also gives a glimpse into Dr. Bailey's level of ego development. In just a short amount of time, you can see that she's functioning at a much higher stage. The autonomous level of Lovinger's theory states that individuals are able to cope with and work through internal conflict, and they're able to have empathy for others. Although Dr. Bailey could easily pass off this case to another surgeon, she decides to treat him like any other patient and save his life, regardless of how the patient treats her. The autonomous stage of Lovinger's theory is when individuals are able to have conceptual complexity and objectivity. Both you see Dr. Bailey hold when she's deciding to save his life or not. Lovinger says that each earlier stage is contained in the current stage of the individual. So Dr. Bailey's current level of functioning holds characteristics from previous stages as well. Like the individualistic stage, where there's a respect for autonomy and there's an ability to tolerate ambiguity. Bailey actually tries to get Shane to sign the consent and puts in an effort to save his life when she didn't have to. She respects his humanity, even if he doesn't respect hers. Well, your liver had more damage than we saw in the CT, and then we found a perforation in your bowel. But we took care of it all, and you should have a full recovery. Well, not a full recovery. Dr. B she did this on purpose, right? I don't understand. Uh, you have a black partner, right? Yeah. Mary? Yeah. Do you know how she is? Oh, are, are you two friends? Oh, look, I'm not the devil, okay? I'm just a guy with a belief system. Mary's a nice girl. We saved lives together. That's a good time. Now, if she wanted to marry my brother, I'd have a problem with that. So would a lot of people. I'm not that much different than most of the people that you know. Well, Dr. Bailey did save your life today. Black woman saved your life at a great personal cost. So maybe next time you're looking at your tattoo and you're thinking how much better all us white guys are than everyone else, think about that. 
because between you and me, if I had been alone in that OR, he'd probably be dead right now. And uh, since we're sharing belief systems, I believe if you were dead, the world would be a better place. Again, this clip reiterates Shane's level of functioning, which is close to the conformist stage. Shane categorizes people based off of external features and determines their worth from this. This stage is heavily influenced by group conforming, so it can be assumed that Shane knows others with his beliefs and is accepted into a group that gives him a sense of belonging. Another characteristic of this stage is being superficially nice. Before this episode, you aren't aware that Shane is a white supremacist, and he does appear to be generally nice on the outside. His paramedic partner is black, and he is nice to her but it's fake and conditional. He places her and others in boxes based off of social rules that his group made. People have to fit the way that he wants, and if they don't, he throws a fit. You can also further understand his level of reasoning when he tells George in this last scene that there are more people like him than you think. Justifying a hateful and illogical belief system by saying that a lot of other people think the same is not sound reasoning. You can see that the cognition at this stage is very elementary which is probably why the stage was meant for school-aged children. But it's important to remember that Lovinger's stages are not age-dependent. Older clearly does not mean wiser. Thanks for watching.